I can hear the ratchetness through the walls. I don't know if you guys can. But yeah, there's a lot of people being all loud and whatnot. And it's kind of starting to annoy me. Or maybe I'm just salty because it's a Friday night and I have nothing to do. It's that. Okay. Yeah, I was just um my Instagram posting selfies and asking if I should trim the beard or not. Because the beard game is pretty strong right now. I don't know. I like it, but uh, what, what do you guys think? Should I trim it or leave it the way it is or grow it out or what? Yeah, I got trapped into the social media craze just like everyone else did. I'm on Instagram and Facebook. I'm not on Twitter though. I don't know why. I don't really have much of an excuse. I'm just not. I actually love Instagram though. I mean, I'm not. I don't know about putting it on YouTube though, because I mean, I don't know who any of you people are, but. Maybe one of these days I'll put my Instagram name out there if you guys want to look at it. If you guys care, I don't know, maybe not. Anyway. Yeah, we're on social media all the time now. It's kind of a worn out topic in this day and age, but we really are just nuts with the social media. First it was MySpace, then it was then it, then it was Facebook, and then it was Twitter, and now it's Google Plus. At least that's what Google wanted us to say. No one's on Google Plus. But no, nice try Google. You're not taking over the world just yet. Just with everything else, you've taken over the world, but not with social media, not yet. But but they're they're getting around to it. They're, I mean, they're, they're forcing us, but they're getting around to it because technically, I'm not I'm not posting this video to YouTube. I'm posting this video to my Google Plus, which I don't even know how that works. I get added to people's circles all the time. I don't know what that means. And not only does social media keep us from actually interacting with people around us, which is you know like the main argument about social media, but it also it. It really reveals how ugly we are as a society. Cause, cause before, if you had something to say about someone, you said it to their face and you put up with the consequences. I mean, you know, you get punched in the throat or, or shanked or, you know, whatever degree of punishment you had to go through according to whatever you said. Words. What are words? But these days, all you have to do is just type, is just type out how much of a fag someone is over a YouTube comment and then you're just... You just hide behind a screen. It's it's so stupid. For some people they just they just make people feel bad, and then they go on about their pathetic day. Just terrible. The biggest thing that's going on right now though is Kick. Kick Messenger. It's that like alternate to texting kind of thing. I don't know why I'm explaining it. Pretty much everyone has heard about it. It's weird because it's changing the way that we talk about things too. Because before, if you you know found a girl like over the internet attractive, whatever, you could just be like, hey, you're really cute. Hey. You're really pretty. Oh, the things I would do to you. That's for all the, you know, creeps in the world. You know, before you'd say, you'd say something like that, but now all you do is just say, kick, kick. Which is basically saying, all right, we met on Facebook. Now let's take this conversation to the next level. Just a, a private messenger, just, just you and me in the speech bubbles. You know what I'm saying? Come on, girl. What's your, you, what's your, what's your kick? And the thing that pisses me off the most about kick is that there's so many accounts out there that are fake as hell. Every dude out there right now knows exactly what I'm talking about too. I hope you don't think I'm a slut, lol. I would ask to exchange pics, but I think I'd rather see each other and my camera's turned on. Wanna take a peek? I'll show you, but don't tell anyone, okay? It's up to you. Just go on this website, click the link, say you're 18. It's okay if you're not actually 18, just say you're 18. My username, my username is, is jesse.lovebear8. And I'll be waiting there, okay, winky face? That's an actual message that I got a long time ago. I had it put on Instagram because I'm so sick of this bullshit. Yes, please let me click on this link and break up my phone, please, thank you. And the thing that really sucks is that there's so many dumb dudes out there that are falling for this and click on these links and doing whatever the hell. I, I never clicked on, a, on, on one of them myself. I don't want to take the risk, but there's so many dudes out there that are clicking on these links. And I know that for a fact because if they weren't clicking on it, if it wasn't working, then this shit would have died out a long time ago. But no, thanks to all the horny Bruh. dudes out there that are just trying to get some, some, some pics of titties. But when all you have to do is type that same thing into Google, and it's right there. Okay, so on the subject of emojis, I'm an Android user. I have an, an LG Nexus 5. I love it. Way better than, than iPhone because, I mean, you know, anything is better than iPhone. But I've come to notice that one thing that's way better with Androids, the newer ones anyway, is that the, the emojis are way better than the iPhone ones. See, look how cute they are. They're like little jellies. Happy jelly, sad jelly, demon jelly, sleeping jelly. But then the Apple emojis, they look so serious. Okay, for one thing, they look like Skittles. I don't know why, but they look like Skittles. Making me uncomfortable. And not only that, but with the Android emojis, like, the sad one, for instance, just looks like, oh man. But then the iPhone sad emoji, it looks like it had a death in the family. Like, it looks serious, or like it's about to kill itself, or whatever. I don't know, man. It's too intense for me. Anyway, it's, it's pretty late. It's like 1 in the morning. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm Mike. Bye.